Now, as you likely know, the Rosh Hashanah Jewish New Year's holiday is right around the corner, and to help people of all backgrounds and socioeconomic statuses celebrate properly, the Yad Ezra Vishulamit charity is organizing baskets stocked with everything that a family in Israel might need. Joining me now to discuss is Chief Media and Marketing Officer with Eish HaTorah, Jamie Geller. Jamie, thank you so much for joining us. All right, so we heard that you are at Yad Ezra Vishulamit's center in Jerusalem. What brings you there? Well, for me, the reason I am at Yad Ezra Vishulamit is because you know I built a whole career around food. So any charity that exists that is dedicated to feeding the needy of Israel is something that I want to pay attention to. But specifically, Yad Ezra Vishulamit is dedicated to the children. And as a mother, I to know that there are almost one million children in Israel, that's one out of three that are below the poverty line, that are going to school with nothing in their bellies. And to know that Yad Ezra Shulamit doesn't just stop with the food, but that continues with school supplies and after school tutoring. There is no greater organization to be associated with and to help raise money than Yad Ezra Shulamit. Can you tell me a little bit more about, uh, about what they do? Okay, so Yad Ezra Vashulamit is dedicated to feeding the needy children of Israel, to clothing them, to ensuring that they're healthy. So first and foremost, they do baskets. Once a week, they give out about 10,000 baskets to needy families across Israel. There are 86 distribution centers, and they give baskets for smaller families and larger families. Because really what help is it to give one chicken to a family with 10 kids? So I love that they really pay attention to all the details. In addition, in both Yerushalayim, Jerusalem, and Sfat, they have two educational centers that children can go to after school to get a hot meal, to get tutoring. Uh, they help with school supplies at the beginning of the year, warm winter clothing during the winter. They saw a girl going to school in the middle of winter with sandals, and that was it. Now they have a winter uh, clothing program. So they're always, always giving and thinking about every detail. The founder, Rabbi, he says he's not a rabbi, but we all think he is. Rabbi Aryeh Lori says he cannot go to sleep with knowing that there's a child in Israel that is hungry. Every time a need comes up, he creates a program for it. And that's why I love Yad Ezra Vishulamit. So how is this different from other organizations? I think it's important to note, obviously there are a lot of organizations, unbelievable organizations around Israel that are dedicated to feeding the hungry, but there's so many below the poverty line, so many children and so many families. But if you put the efforts of all the organizations together, you're not even scratching the surface. What that means is we're not even reaching 25% of Israel's needy. So Yad Ezra Vashulamit is the largest and they think not just about clothing, but about baby formula. Like I said about, I've spoken before about the school supplies, the tutoring, a healthy heart, a healthy mind, a healthy development for a child. And that's why it makes Yad Ezra Vashulamit so special. And, and again, you know, what, what do they do for Rosh Hashanah specifically? All right, in addition to the 10,000 weekly baskets that Yad Ezra Vashulamit gives out across Israel, for Rosh Hashanah, they are giving out 55 thousand holiday baskets. Now what is in the baskets, you might wonder, exactly what we would want for our family. Chicken, grape juice, produce, honey. Honey is very expensive. So this is a time where even more, when it comes to making the holidays, it's so financially uh, cumbersome that even more people need. And it's a time that we need to reach in to our hearts and to our wallets because no one should ever rush Hashanah without a warm meal for their family. So 55,000 baskets, and they can only do it with your help. All right, my last question, how can people get involved? Rev. Aryeh Lori, the founder of Yad Ezra Vishulamit, says he cannot sleep at night knowing that there is a hungry child in Israel. These children are our children. This is Israel. It's 2022. It's unimaginable that there's this level of poverty. A million, almost a million children, one out of three. And we need to feel it like Rev. Aryeh feels that he's dedicated his entire life so that these children can be fed. We just need to help him. We just need to give. We need to care like he cares. If you feel the need to give just like I do, then please go ahead and visit yadezra.net slash ILTV. That's yadezra.net slash ILTV. Food baskets for a small family are $120, $150 for a larger family. Anything you give will be so appreciated. There are many other programs that we discussed. Please go and visit yadezra.net slash ILTV to find out more. And of course, if you're in Israel, you can come visit and volunteer and pack food baskets. We desperately, desperately need your help, both in Jerusalem and in Sfat. Jamie, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.
Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.